Greetings, tis I, Andrew, the bearded lady from the Hairy Game Lords. And for Zatu Games, let's have a look inside Tudor from Academy Games. Okay, so let's have a look at what is inside Tudor from Academy Games. As you can see, the box art is quite bold and, uh, well, all-encompassing. Covers the whole box. Uh, I like the little conversation going on here. Pss, 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 pss. Mm. Anyway, let's have a look at the back as well. So uh, you've got a little bit of the components on the back there. And uh, you've got it saying two to four players for ages 12 plus. And it's saying that it's 20 minutes per player. So let's have a look. Now, there's no cellophane on this because it is already opened. And in fact, I have punched everything already uh, so that you can see um, what the game box looks like. So obviously, when you get this for the first time, you'll have to do all of the punching yourself so we have a rule book and this is quite a thick rule book but has everything in it that you need so you start off with a, a game setup and components which is really helpful uh, this kind of like takes you through very clearly how to set it up which and it, which yeah like I say is really helpful uh, takes you through kind of like the gameplay, what each of the locations are in the on the on the huge board. And initially, when you open up the board, uh, you're struck by um, well, the artwork on it is great, but also it, it feels like it, it there's so much to do, but actually there isn't. This rule book is very informative. I like the way that um, it has pictures throughout and examples. It's really helpful. Um, and so, yeah, a really, really good rule book. And then on the back there, you have a kind of game summary. I think my one thing I would say that this game would it would need to help it would be little cheat sheets, little those little cards with this on for every player. That would be a lot more helpful. Great. So there's the rules. A few stickers there that I've not used yet. Here is this board. Hello, that I was talking about. It is a huge board, and as you can see, it's uh, like I was saying, it's that whole kind of whoa, what's happening? There's quite a lot to see on here. It's a double sided board. There's the rest of my room. Um, and yeah, there's lots, there seems to be lots of things happening, but don't worry, effectively, there are just two locations in this. There is uh, these chamber rooms here, and then there is the throne room. Uh, these are the factions. Uh, this is sort of like how many rounds there are and different kind of winning conditions as well. And then you've got the prestige uh, track, all the victory points going around the outside of the board. Great. One board. Now then, let's have a look. Look at this pretty box. So, in here, straight up, you can see here are the player boards. A variety of different hands and cuffs. Ooh, what a pretty or dandy cuff that is. For blue, red, orange, or yellow, and black. Mm, black kind of got that kind of emo look going on. So, yeah, these are your player boards uh, with a little bit of... Uh, kind of like information on on what you can do each go but then these things here what's really cool is is that you place the rings onto the fingers and depending on what ring you have on what fingers depends on what abilities are enhanced throughout the game which is pretty clever I, I like that kind of gameplay that's nice so there's your player boards these player boards are good but they um uh, they're easily knocked over when playing the game. 
So as you can see, there are all these rings here, which is nice. Um, in this little kind of like ring standy thing. So that goes next to the game board and you can pick out a ring. And if you have tiny dainty hands, you might be able to place the ring on your own hand. That's, that's how far it's going on mine. Uh, but on here, ta-da, nice. Ta-da, yes, lovely. So there we go, there's all the different rings. Very nice. Uh, the stickers over here, that is what these are for. And they give you loads of extra stickers, which is helpful in case you mess it up. Great. So what else have we got in here? So obviously there are the different coloured meeples uh, for the four players. Uh, so you've got meeples in there, you've got a prestige counter, and then you've got a lord as well. Um, let's see, here's your first player marker. And then there's these things here, which are... Uh, these different tokens are intrigue and uh, uh, something else, which I can't remember off the top of my head. But these play in the game. Influence, that's it. They influence and intrigue. They, are, they help in the game and they help give you points at the end. Uh, so they can buy you different things in the game. This is cool. This is the, uh, uh, the, the round marker. So you place this over... Let's just grab this. So you place it basically over the picture of one of King Henry VIII's wives. Uh, and then you move along each round like that. We liked that. Here's uh, some different... This is where the replayability comes in. So all of these are double-sided. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> all of these are single-sided cards that kind of uh, give you different win conditions, different scenarios each time you can play. So you can uh, randomly select those. Or you can, uh, it starts off with a few suggested selections for your first few games as well. But this brings in uh, the different replayability each game, which is really helpful. What else are these? Oh, these are more of the uh, intrigue uh, tokens. Uh, we also have a whole lot of these cards. These are the different faction cards, um, which you will need to get hold of to be able to move up move your meeples up through, uh, or the, your courtiers, up through the throne room. So to be able to move forward onto uh, a certain space, you need to either have a card or a ring of that colour to be able to move forward. So there they are, those little tiny cards. And then in here, this large sac of magique. Uh, are loads and loads of uh, these cardboard faction tokens. Uh, again, these are scattered or placed at random all over the throne room, and you have to have the right faction colours to be able to move onto these locations. Um, and then you pick up these, and these help again in scoring at the end, or do they, depending on what uh, scoring thing you're going with. Um, yes, excellent. So there we are. That is all that is in the game. Uh, I hope it, it makes sense to you, but it is. it looks really nice when it's all packaged in there together. And um, the quality of the components is really good. Nice thick card, uh, great meeples. I also have the expansion that has uh, miniatures in it as well, which is always nice. And uh, yeah, so that is Tudor. Hope you've enjoyed the component look at this with this unboxing. And I hope you enjoy the game. Thanks. Laters.